Reddit, what creepy rabbit hole do you know? Well, one of the rabbit holes that really got to me is the theory surrounding Hollow Earth. It's this idea that there's an entire hidden world inside our planet, and it's not a barren place, but one inhabited by ancient civilizations, advanced beings, or even alien life. Some people take it even further, claiming there are secret entrances at the poles or in deep cave systems that lead to this underground world. There are all these stories from explorers and adventurers who claim to have stumbled across it. So one of the most out there parts of the theory is that the Nazis supposedly found a way into this inner earth and tried to set up bases there. It's wild, but the number of people who seriously believe in it is crazy. I came across a really weird one involving the Randotica. This app gives users random GPS coordinates to visit, but the spooky part is the experiences people report after using it. Some claim they ended up in creepy or abandoned places or even had supernatural encounters. There's a famous story where a group used the app and was led to a suitcase containing human remains. For it, the whole thing has a strange, unsettling vibe. And even though I was curious, reading about other people's experiences freaked me out enough to never download it myself. Elisa Lamb's case is one of those rabbit holes I'll never forget. If you've seen the security footage, you know how weird it is. Lamb was acting erratically in the elevator, pressing buttons like she was trying to escape from someone, but no one else was there. Later, her body was found in the water tank on the roof of the hotel. How she got there and what led to her death remains a mystery. There are so many theories some say it was a mental health crisis. Others believe it was foul play. And then there are those who think something paranormal was at work. The case gets even creepier when you dig into the dark history of the Cecil Hotel, where multiple deaths and murders have occurred. The Paul is dead theory is one that goes back decades, and while it sounds silly, it's honestly kind of chilling when you start reading into it. People believe that Paul McCartney died in 1966 and was replaced by a lookalike. Supposedly, the Beatles left clues in their album covers and songs, like the famous Abbey Road cover where Paul is barefoot, which is said to symbolize a corpse, or in the backward lyrics of Strawberry Fields Forever, where some claim they can hear John Lennon saying, I buried Paul. It's clearly a conspiracy, but the amount of effort fans have put into finding and decoding these so-called clues is mind-boggling. The Denver International Airport conspiracy is one that still creeps me out. People say that beneath the airport is a massive bunker for the global elite to use in the event of a global catastrophe. Some also believe it's a headquarters for the Illuminati. The strange artwork inside the airport only adds fuel to the fire, with murals showing what look like doomsday scenarios soldiers in gas masks, and apocalyptic scenes. The weirdest part is that the airport management just laughs off the rumors, but between the weird symbols, the over-budget construction, and its remote location, it's hard not to think there's more to it. Have you ever heard of The Smiling Man? It's this urban legend about a creepy guy who was seen by a poster late at night. The man had a huge, unnatural smile on his face and moved in bizarre, almost inhuman ways. Since then, other people have come forward with similar stories, seeing unsettlingly happy strangers in the middle of the night who act as if they're not fully human. Some believe it's a cryptid or a spirit, while others think it might be a shared nightmare or some kind of mass hallucination. Either way, the idea of someone or something with a creepy, unrelenting grin following you down a dark street is pretty terrifying. The gang-stalking phenomenon is one that's equal parts disturbing and fascinating. It's a belief held by a surprisingly large number of people that they're being followed, harassed, and systematically targeted by groups, sometimes government agencies, sometimes secret societies, or even just random people. These individuals report strange things like their neighbors watching them, being followed by cars wherever they go, and strangers engaging in coordinated efforts to psychologically torment them. It's easy to dismiss as paranoia, but the sheer number of people who claim to experience this worldwide is eerie. It makes you wonder if there's something real behind it, or if it's just a reflection of how the mind can play tricks on people. I went down the time cube rabbit hole once, and it's hard to describe how bizarre it is. The theory was created by a guy named Jen Ray, who believed that each day was actually made up of four simultaneous days happening in different quadrants of time. It's completely nonsensical to most people, but Ray was obsessed with it and dedicated his life to spreading the word. He even had a website full of confusing rants about the time cube and held public talks about it. What's strange is how deep he went into this theory and how far he tried to push it. It's like watching someone's descent into madness, but it left a weird mark on the internet with people still bringing it up every now and then.
The Blue Whale Challenge is one of the darkest things I've come across online. It supposedly started on Russian social media and encouraged teenagers to complete a series of increasingly dangerous tasks over 50 days, culminating in suicide. The tasks would start small, like watching horror movies or staying up late, but gradually they'd lead to things like self-harm. While the actual existence and scale of the challenge are debated, there were reports of teens committing suicide after participating in it. It's terrifying to think how something like this could spread online and manipulate vulnerable people into harming themselves. The simulation theory is one of those rabbit holes that really makes you question everything. It's the idea that our reality is actually just a highly advanced simulation, kind of like the Matrix. What's freaky is that some serious scientists and philosophers actually consider it a legitimate possibility. There are also stories of people experiencing glitches in reality like objects vanishing and reappearing or time seemingly skipping forward. The more you think about it, the more it messes with your mind. It makes you wonder if everything around you is real or if we're all just part of some giant simulation. One of the creepiest rabbit holes I've gone down is about shadow people. These are dark, human-like figures that people from all over the world have reported seeing. The common description is that they're just shadowy outlines, but they move and act in ways that make people believe they're sentient. Some see them as harmless observers, while others describe them as malevolent entities that seem to be feeding off negative emotions. What's strange is how widespread these reports are, with people from all walks of life describing similar experiences. It makes you wonder if there's something more to these sightings than just tricks of the light. There's this terrifying rabbit hole about the back rooms. It started as a simple internet creepypasta, describing a seemingly endless maze of monotonous. Yellow office-like rooms that you somehow not clip into, but it's taken on a life of its own. The idea is that once you fall into the back rooms, there's no way out and you're stuck wandering forever, occasionally encountering unsettling creatures or other people who are equally lost. It's kind of like a nightmare realm that's familiar enough to feel real, but just off enough to be deeply unsettling. What's creepy is how many people claim to have dreams or even waking experiences of these endless featureless rooms. I got really creeped out when I started reading about the Bennington Triangle. It's an area in Vermont where a bunch of strange disappearances occurred between 1945 and 1950. People went missing without a trace while hiking or going about their daily routines. What makes it weirder is that there are no obvious explanations, no signs of foul play, no bodies, nothing. Some people think the area is cursed, while others believe it's a hotspot for paranormal activity or alien abductions. The more you dig into the details, the more unsettling it becomes, especially since no one has been able to explain what happened to the missing people. The Dialoff Pass incident is another rabbit hole that'll leave you with more questions than answers. In 1959, nine Russian hikers died under extremely mysterious circumstances in the Ural Mountains. Their tent was found ripped open from the inside and the bodies were discovered scattered, some with severe injuries that couldn't easily put into Yuri by a natural disaster. One of the creepiest details is that some of the bodies had high levels of radiation. Theories about what happened range from an avalanche to a government experiment gone wrong to a Yitai attack, but no one knows for sure, and every new piece of information just makes the case stranger. There's this eerie rabbit hole about the Watcher letters. In 2014, a family in New Jersey bought their dream home, but shortly after moving in, they started receiving threatening letters from someone calling themselves the Watcher. The letters reference details about the family and the house that only someone with inside knowledge would know. The writer claimed to be watching the house for decades, waiting for young blood to inhabit it. Despite investigations, no one was ever caught and the family was so terrified they eventually moved out. The whole thing feels like a real-life horror story, and the fact that it's never been solved just adds to the creepiness. I went down the rabbit hole of backmasking in music. People believe that if you play certain songs backward, they contain hidden, often sinister messages. I spent hours listening to reversed audio clips of old rock songs, and honestly, some of them were freaky. Not sure if it's just our brains trying to make sense of gibberish, but it's eerie how clear some of the supposed messages sound. The Mandela Effect is one of the weirdest rabbit holes. It's where a large group of people remember something differently than it actually happened, like the Berenstain Bears, that's Bernstein Bears thing. Some people believe it's evidence of parallel universes or alternate realities. The more I read into it, the more my mind was blown. Have you ever heard of Cicada 3301? It's this insane cryptography puzzle that appeared online randomly and has popped up a few times over the years. Nobody knows who's behind it, 
or what the end game is, but some think it's a secret organization recruiting coda breakers, or maybe even something more sinister like government testing. Falling into the conspiracy theories surrounding missing 411 cases. These are unexplained disappearances in US national parks, and the deeper you dig, the weirder it gets. People vanish in the middle of well-traveled paths. Sometimes their bodies are found in completely inaccessible places with no explanation. The theories go from serial killers to aliens to something supernatural. The hollow earth theory is a bizarre one. It's exactly what it sounds like people believe there's a whole other world inside our planet, inhabited by ancient civilizations or alien species. Sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but the amount of people who actually buy into it is surprising. There's a subreddit dedicated to finding the gateway process document, which is basically a declassified SIA paper that talks about how the human brain can be used to transcend time and space. It's a mind-bending read, and the discussions surrounding it get even crazier when people start sharing their own experiences with astral projection and other paranormal phenomena. And I got stuck reading about black-eyed children for way too long. They supposedly show up at night, usually at your door, asking to come inside. The stories are weirdly similar, and people claim they feel an overwhelming sense of dread when these kids are around. No one knows what happens if you let them in, and I'm not sure I want to know. There's a weird rabbit hole about time travelers posting on Reddit. People claiming to be from the future, answering questions, and making predictions. Most of it sounds like typical sci-fi fiction, but every now and then, there's a detail that makes you wonder if they're onto something. Ever heard of the Voynich Manuscript? It's this ancient book written in a language nobody can decipher. For centuries, cryptographers and linguists have tried to crack the code, but no luck. Some people think it's an elaborate hoax. Others say it's from another world. Either way, it's a mystery no one's been able to solve. The not deer phenomena that people talk about on Reddit are creepy. It's when people see something that looks almost like a deer, but just wrong. The legs are too long or the eyes are off. It's one of those things where the more you read about it, the less you want to go hiking in the woods at night. I stumbled upon the theory that birds aren't real and it started as a joke but spiraled into this full-blown conspiracy. Some people genuinely believe that birds have been replaced by government drones used to spy on us. It's hilarious but the fact that some people are dead serious about it makes it unsettling. Tulpas, it's the concept that you can create a thought form so strong it becomes its own entity. There are forums dedicated to people who claim they've made tulpas, and these entities talk to them, live with them, and even act independently. It's like a self-created imaginary friend, but much creepier when they start to develop their own personalities. Rithy conspiracy theories surrounding the Denver International Airport are wild, People believe there's an underground bunker, symbols of the Illuminati, and that it's some sort of end-of-the-world hideout for the elite. The murals inside the airport are strangely unsettling too, which only fuels the fire. The Black Knight satellite theory is nuts. Some people believe there's an ancient, extraterrestrial satellite orbiting Earth that's been around for over 13,000 years. NASA says it's just space debris, but conspiracy theorists believe it's a sign of alien life watching over us. There's this theory that reality glitches happen like when you suddenly find yourself in a place you weren't supposed to be or notice something minor has changed. I went down this rabbit hole reading stories about people who have experienced these glitches lost time. Repeating events, objects moving on their own, it makes you question the fabric of reality. The Dyatlov Pass incident in Russia is a famous one. In 1959, a group of hikers was found dead under mysterious and gruesome circumstances. Theories range from government experiments, alien encounters, to some sort of supernatural force. There's no definitive explanation, and that's what makes it so chilling. The theory that there's a secret moon base on the dark side of the moon always gets me. People claim there are structures hidden from us, possibly inhabited by aliens or remnants of an ancient civilization. NASA denies it, but then again, they'd have to write, once you start reading about sleep paralysis demons, you can't stop. It's terrifying how many people around the world describe the same experience as being awake but unable to move, feeling a dark presence looming over them, sometimes seeing a shadowy figure. The fact that so many have these shared hallucinations is eerie. The whole pizza cat conspiracy freaked me out when I first heard about it. 
It's been debunked, but there's a certain group of people who still believe in this underground network of child trafficking involving celebrities and politicians. The rabbit hole goes deep, and even though it's been disproven, the details people come up with are unsettling. There's a theory that missing people in the U.S. are linked to something called staircases in the woods. People claim to find random, perfectly built staircases deep in forests, and there's speculation that these are somehow portals or connected to the disappearances. Whether it's real or not, I don't want to find out. Project MCOT Ultra is probably the most disturbing rabbit hole I've fallen into. It's not even a theory it really happened. The CIA ran secret mind control experiments on unwitting civilians during the Cold War, using drugs like LSD. The more you read about it, the darker it gets. We'll never know the full extent of what they did. Ever heard of the hum? It's a mysterious low-frequency noise that some people claim to hear in different parts of the world. No one's been able to figure out its source, and what's even weirder is that only certain people can hear it. Imagine living your life constantly hearing a low, droning noise that no one else can hear. There's a theory that the Titanic didn't sink. Some believe that it was actually its sister ship, the Olympic, that went down in an elaborate insurance scam. The theory goes that the ships were switched before the voyage and the real Titanic was decommissioned. The more you read, the more suspicious it all starts to sound. A deep dive into the simulation theory will mess with your head. It's the idea that we're all living in a computer simulation and our reality is just a sophisticated program. People cite glitches, weird coincidences, and advances in AI as evidence that this might actually be true. So it's enough to make you question your entire existence. There's this theory about shadow people that really freaks me out. They're spout to be these dark human-shaped figures that people sometimes see out of the corner of their eye. Some believe they're beings from another dimension, or maybe even manifestations of pure evil. So the more I read about them, the more paranoid I got. Ever heard of the Montauk Project? It's this wild conspiracy theory that the government was conducting time travel experiments and psychic warfare on kids in the 80s at a secret facility in Montauk, New York. It's said to have inspired Stranger Things, but the real life claims are way darker. After reading about skinwalkers, I had nightmares. They're said to be evil beings in Native American folklore that can shapeshift into animals or even other people. The stories of people encountering these creatures, especially out in the deserts of the Southwest, are terrifying. I won't be visiting anytime soon. There's this idea called the back rooms. It started as a creepy internet story, but it's spiraled into its own little horror universe. The concept is that if you somehow glitch out of reality, you end up in this endless maze of empty, yellow-tinted rooms that go on forever. There's no escape and something might be hunting you in there. One time I read about the phantom time hypothesis, which suggests that a portion of the Middle Ages, about 300 years, didn't actually happen. The theory claims that historical events and documents were fabricated, and we're actually living in the 1700s right now. It's absurd, but the details are oddly convincing. Please subscribe to our channel so we can make more videos. Thanks.